Welcome to Frontend Topics. Today we are going to see how to build our custom hooks. Today we have this component which is quotes list. The idea is to show a list of quotes that we get from this API. This API supports two parameters. Let me show you. One is the offset and the other is the amount of items that you want to load. Therefore, this is the base endpoint, which we call it API URL. And then every time we press next quotes, what we want to do is to update the offset. Because this means that the first time we get the quotes from 0 to 10. Then the next time we press next, we want to get the next 10 results from 10 to 20. Then this offset is updated from 10 to 20, so that means that we are going to get something like this. And then we are saying that we want to get the quotes from 20 to 30 and so on. So for handle that logic, we press next quote, which is going to update the offset, which the first time is zero, and then it's going to be 10. And every time the offset is updated, we run this effect because we are listening the change over here. And then we fetch more results from this URL, which will handle the updated offset. And well, we have the amount of results limited. And what's the main concern of our component? If we check the name, it's a quotes list. So the idea from my point of view is just to handle how the things are rendered. But we still have a lot of logic to get the data. What if we extract all this logic that is just related to how to handle pagination from an endpoint to our first custom hook. Let's give it a try. The idea of our refactor is to create our custom hook to handle the pagination. So let's start with it. Export function use pagination. And of course, we want to make it as reusable as possible. So we cannot hard code the API URL or the offset parameters. So we will need an endpoint and the offset parameter, which in this case is called offset, but in any other API could be different and the same for the limit. We, so we are going to have an offset prop, let me call it offset prop name and limit prop name and a max entries because we also need to handle how many results we want to show. And now, yeah, let me move all this stuff from here. Okay, so this custom hook won't know anything about quotes because it's abstract and it could handle quotes or, I don't know, commits from the API uh, from GitHub or users from any other API. And yeah, we should name it data because I think it's a good name for it. Then we don't need this API URL because it's from the endpoint now. Yeah, things prettier. Then we don't have the offset hard coded here, but we have the offset prop name. Then this is equals offset, and we also have this limit prop name, which is equals max entries. Now, if you see, we could reuse this custom hook for any other API, but yeah, let me check that. We also have these set quotes, but we don't have 
quotes anymore, but we have our set data. Okay, is it still broken for here? Because we need to return things. So let's check what this component, which is going to be the consumer of our custom hook, needs. We need a way of going to the next quotes and of course we need the data. So from my point of view, we just need to return. We could create an object from here, but since the API of the hooks is always using arise, yeah, let's let's keep that. We need to return the data and we have this function to get the next quote, but yeah, that's not okay, it's next data. So this is next data. Yeah, that should be fine. Let me check. Offset, data, user state, yeah, it's okay. Let's consume this custom hook from our component. So we need to match the quotes with the data from here and the next quotes with the next data. Use pagination and we need to set up our custom hook. Let me copy the API URL from here. Yeah, that should work. Because it's the first parameter. Then we need the offset property offset prop which is called offset then we also have let me check yeah our limit prop which was n and then a max which was 10 and now we need to use them here api url offset limit and max. I have something here. Yeah, let's see if this is working. Hmm, okay, it's not. I think it's because here we have the API URL, but now we need an endpoint. Let me check the next quotes. Button. Yeah, it's working nice. Before finishing, I just realized that this is not completely independent from the codes API because here we have this response.quotes and we need to get rid of it to make it as generic as possible. Let me change that. Let's put main prop. Then, yeah, we are going to inject it from here we can create other prop let's call it main main prop and this is quotes and it was the uh, fourth parameter this is main prop and once again yes is it still working to wrap up the example let's go through the component and through the custom hook so what is the good thing about this refactor that we just done? One thing is that our component doesn't know anything about how to handle pagination of the API, right? It just know that it needs quotes and a way of getting the next quotes. And then if we go to our custom hook, now it doesn't know anything about the quotes or about the implementation details of the quotes API. It just know how to fetch data from an endpoint with a couple of properties and how to go to the next results. That's all that it knows and that's perfect because we can reuse it in any other component. In fact, from my point of view, the main goal of custom hooks is that we can extract a piece of logic that is related to our um, state yeah 
not our whole state but just a slice of our, our state, move it outside of the component and reuse it in different places. We can even create a custom npm module with this use pagination and share it with the world. And that was everything for today. I think as a practice what you can do is take this use pagination um, custom hook and reuse it with your own uh, APIs and then let me know if it's working. And yes, that was everything. See you in the next front-end topic. Bye.